Welcome everyone to Noah Gregson Land. This is Fast Fix. Not Noah Gregson Land. It's still Noah but Gregson Land. You can go watch Noah Gregson Land. Emily put it out talking about Las Vegas, how he did there, and how fast he Let's was. Let's see how he rolled the dice there. And um, but on this episode, we're going to talk about Phoenix, the short track. Some people debate if it's a short track or not, but I call it a short track. Drives a lot like a short track, so it is a short track. Uh, so, um, but first, let's talk about our winners of the weekend from Vegas. Some idiot named Adam won the truck race. He took a gamble with Kyle Busch. Yeah, he big gamble there. Snagged him out from under me. I don't know why he thought Kyle Busch would win the truck race, but it worked out for him. Uh, Nick Phillips also had Kyle Busch winning the truck race. Kyle Busch Fan 8 also had Kyle Busch winning the truck race. Who knew? I bet he's happy that Kyle Busch is winning again. Yeah. Last year's champion, Christopher Fry, also had Kyle Busch winning the truck race. It's a no-brainer. Victor Santiago also had Kyle Busch winning the truck race. So a lot of people went with Kyle Busch winning the truck race. But one outlier here in our list is the DCP had William Byron. And if you had William Byron last week, which DCP did, perfect score, couldn't get any more points than he did. So Max points. Max points. So Las Vegas was definitely a race. Yeah. Uh, it was definitely dominated. It was definitely of, boring. A lot of comers and goers. Uh, yeah, well, the goer, the comers were Hendrick Motorsports, and they stayed that way the entire way. Besides yeah. Josh Berry. <laughs> Besides Josh Berry. Yeah, sorry Chase Elliott fans for Chase Elliott getting his leg hurt and he's going to be out for a while. Yeah, so best wishes to Chase and hopefully we'll get and back on the track as the soon time, as possible. Oh, at the time we don't re record this, we don't know who's going to be in the nine. But uh, we all know it will be revealed that it is me that is driving the nine and I will be making my cup debut. Yeah, like they're going to just get some random uh, we We've made amends from our past issues and he well said, the thing is you know you, what the thing is you for you don't hate him anymore and he breaks his leg yeah okay so, so it's your fault he said go break a leg so, i sent him a text message said that go break a leg this weekend man and he did <laughs> no that's not funny <laughs> no, but uh don't know why you i only and he I, said you know what i entrust you with my car i don't know why he would even let you text him. He'd probably so, block you. Um, anyone playing fast picks, pick me. I'm going to win. I'm going to lap them all. And uh, it'll be like the first cup race ever that the whole field goes down 20 laps plus. Yeah, right. But then he'll wake up. And then I'll wake up and then watch whoever, whoever win. But anyway, Phoenix. Let's talk about the Phoenix. Xfinity series. Last race out west. Yes. So, uh, in Xfinity race, uh, we got Kyle Busch in the 10 again, and Ryan Truex will be in the 19. So, but I'm not picking Kyle Busch this week. I'm going to give him a break. Well, we'll let him have a break. But I'm going to pick a driver that's been running very well, almost won the race at Vegas, but I'm going to pick Chandler Smith. I think he's going to get it done here and get his first win. Yeah. Uh, Come on, we gotta do it now. Was dominant in the truck race a few years ago. Yes. And you know maybe Phoenix just suits his driving style. So yeah, he's gonna be really good this year. Emily. I'm picking Algar again. Okay, I finished third. I finished second. I need to finish first. So Kevin Harvick is the Cactus King. Justin Algar is the Cactus Prince. And he is the pretty much. King of the Xfinity Series at Phoenix. Very good day. But he did kind of listen to me last time because I didn't. I told him not to finish third, and he finished ahead. He finished second. So <laughs> now finish first. So Emily's still looking for that first NASCAR win of the yeah, year. Yeah, I got F1. Don't rub it in. You just got the the monopoly on Max Verstappen, and I was close to the IndyCar, and then that went to crap. 
<laughs> you know, we just didn't do too good in, in the end. F1. I did. F1 my driver's in and blue and any somebody just puts me in a wall. And they... My pick for Sweet the goes, man. It's okay. We can cry after. Alright. Uh the, the Xfinity. I'm gonna pick Kyle Bush just because this is a driver's racetrack. Shocker! Um I want them free wins, man. <laughs> I say yeah, maybe won't have the dominant car, but with the skill level that this driver has, I think it's going to be a no-brainer to pick Kyle Busch. But also, Justin Allgaier may put up a fight. I hope so. Um, but Austin Hill, he has surprised us all. He, he finally won an actual race. He has gained the most points throughout the this, this season so far for fast picks. So, maybe want to Take a gamble on Austin Hill, maybe get some more points. He finally won a race that wasn't a super speed race. Yeah, I think his is one most consistent at Vegas. So, he didn't really any laps till the very end. And also, he was mad that he won. Yeah, I was pulling for Chandler Smith. I mean, I was just like seeing him get his first you win. You said you hated him. I know. I just... <laughs> she has all the receipts. I have everything. I can't get away with nothing. Remember everything I, I say. No. I know everything. All right, now let's move on to the Cup Series. Cup Series, and we'll be doing something interesting for the Cup Series this week. We'll do the Final Four rematch. Pick the. Driver in the final four from last season that will finish ahead of everyone else. Obviously, Chase Elliott's not in it. So, he final three. So, final three. Uh, final three. Okay, final three. Maybe you could take a gamble on the nine, depending on who it is. Uh, but yeah. We'll Hopefully, see it's that someone goes. good. You get some bonus points, 20 bonus points, if you can correctly guess which driver will finish ahead. That's something I wish they would do, like kind of like a, you know how the Xfinity has the dash for cash. I feel like they need to do like the rematch. Whoever wins, I want them the rematch to put gets a million dollars. NASCAR, can I please talk to you? Can you please put Noah Gregson in the booth instead of Blaney or Harvick? Well, actually, Harvick's fine, but Blaney really. Y'all have to see what Noah doing. Yeah. Come on, it would be exciting and I would watch Xfinity again. And if you have to kick out Blaney and Harvick, uh, they are allowed here. You That's are invited true. to join Fast Picks. Harvick's allowed. I don't know about Blaney. Yeah, yeah I don't think everybody's too crazy about having Dan Patrick in the booth. No. My person. Um, can I just say, she don't know what she's talking about. She wrecked all the time. Okay, get someone that knows how to race. Even Mike Joy just cut her off a few times. <laughs> it's like, wow. Wow, man. So, All right, so Phoenix in the Cup Series will have low downforce this year. So maybe won't be as much shifting throughout the corners. So maybe and, we'll see some also, good racing. And also from him, Zane Smith is going to be in the 38. I was one to tell on. I beat you to it. Also, Zane Smith will be in the 38. I don't know why they kicked Todd out, but okay. But I guess they did pick a better, a good driver. Not, not that. You not, done not, done it now. not that Todd's bad, but I'm just saying, Zane, he surprised you when he filled in for Chris Booker. Because he thought he wouldn't do good in like his first race in a cup. All right, keep digging the hole. Shovel in, shovel in. It's fine. I'm, I do talk bad about some drivers, but not those. Do ones. you? Yes. I don't believe you. But Zane Smith is okay. my favorite truck driver. Okay, okay, okay. Picks. Okay. <laughs> I picked Kyle okay. Busch the last couple of times. You know. <laughs> I'm not going to do it this week. I, th I still think he's going to run well. But I'm picking Gross Chastain. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> oh, that was so funny last week. It just come out that way. Yeah, I think Ross is really the strongest thing he'd do. He'd come close to winning last year. 
he's gonna get down here. Yeah, finished second last year or third actually. So we'll see. I mean, he ran very well at Vegas. I mean, he's in the top ten all day, and that last restart he kind of got pushed back. So Chevy's trying to sweep all four races. Yes. <laughs> I'm picking the one that I was just talking about in the booth, Kevin Harvick. Kevin Harvick, the He's Cactus a, King. But I also Kevin will say, I also say Noah is good at Phoenix. So yeah, I think it's with the low downforce, that plays into Kevin Harvick's hands a little bit. So we can see. I think it will either really suit him or really not suit him. So. He's either going to go out there and dominate and win, or finish 20th. I hope we don't finish 20th. Come on, <laughs> Harvick. I expect more from you. Okay. I'm going with last year's champion, Joey Logano. Kind of got the wall at Vegas, and yeah. his car up. It went, I thought it was a rally car, and did a jump in the infield, trying to take the Joker lap. Um, but yeah, I think just as we talked about Kevin Harvick, how like the down low downforce may play into his hands a little bit. Joe Logano with Ford struggling this so, year, just like they do every year. I'm guessing I know who you say will finish higher in the yeah. final three. So I'm trying to rally the Chevy Brigade, and there y'all coming with all the Fords. Yeah, I think Fords will. Which this is my first time. Circle the low downforce tracks. This is my first time picking Ford this year. And it's good for them because this is where they are going to go take the championship to. So, yeah, it's who really. Runs, who runs good here? Well, besides. Back in the fall and try to dominate. Well, actually, I did pick Joey for the clash. But besides that, this is my first Ford in like the like real races. And for the Cup Series, William Byron has gained the most points throughout the Fast Pick Series, uh, mostly because he. Clean sweep them. Got so, a perfect 40. I'm just going to tell you next year at the spring in Las Vegas, just pick a Hendrick driver. And then Mag might want to pick Chase Briscoe. I went here last year. I know he's really excited to come back again, so we'll he, see. He is on the thumbnail, but not like he's like in a little you have area. to find him. It's like He's a magnifying glass. You can see him. I wonder who makes your thumbnails. I don't know. I don't know. They just kind of show up on my emails. But um, <laughs> here is all the points for each stage. You can pick different drivers for each stage. Um, but if you only pick one driver, you get points throughout all the stages, stages with them. And also, pick the pole. Please um, pick the pole. Uh, we're doing the pole award. And Unless if it rains, you don't get no pole. We're not going to do a pole award and nobody picks the pole. So, and we have decided to, if you don't pick the pole award, you're not going to get the pole column. You know, you're not going to reap the benefits of it. So, it's just easier that way. People that play get the points. We don't get no pole it pays award. to play. <laughs> Pays to play, everybody. But you don't have to pay to play. Yeah, but it pays, but to, it pays play. to play. Yeah. It plays to pay. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you got me confused now. <laughs> I'm playing the game just to pay. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, that was our picks for Phoenix this week. Hope you all enjoyed the races and good luck to all of you in your picks. Write in the comments below. And we'll see you next time at Atlanta. Yes, we'll see you there.